So um, Ryan was a wait. I got to turn off my uh, ringer. Yes, let me get rid of that. I took a few notes. I just made a few notes of things. Ryan was a wonderful young man. You know our university values of um, uh, include compassion, integrity, and wisdom. And Ryan hit it out of the park on compassion and integrity. Uh, he was one of the kindest souls that I know. Uh, Ryan was um, involved in, uh, he was a peer coach at St. Bonaventure, which means that uh, we welcome all first year students and transfers uh, being matched up with someone who is just going to check on them and invite them to things and make sure they know the resources that are available. Um, but he also spent a summer on campus uh, working our farm to table program. And that uh, Bonaventure has what we believe is the oldest student run soup kitchen in the country. It'll be 50 years old in February, actually. We're just getting ready to celebrate an anniversary year with for the warming house. And Ryan uh, decided that he wanted to stretch himself and work at the warming house for the summer as part of our farm to table program. They work at Canical Farm, which is a uh, uh, natural farm run by the Franciscan Allegheny sisters in the morning. And then in the afternoons, they work at our soup kitchen. Um, I always say that, you know, this is one of the hardest on campus jobs that we have. It's not really on campus. It's in downtown Olean, but um, you are challenged by so many things each day that you go into the warming house. You know, it's not just making some food and, um, you know, serving it to people uh, who are food insecure. Like sometimes there's just unexpected challenges. And Ryan, was always willing to learn from those situations. Uh, he was, oh, and then afterwards we'd debrief and talk about it. Oh, I've got two dogs. Sorry. Are they being too loud for you? Oh, okay. Okay. They're try trying to think that they want to play right now. Come here, Olive. I'm so sorry. I hope you can do some cutting and editing with this. Oh, great. Great. Yeah. Um, but he decided that he was going to do this for the summer, and he grew so much that summer. Um, you know, you're always thrown with unexpected things, and um, it was delightful to watch him. Um, and then what he was doing this year, I, I think that's really what speaks to it. I don't know if you're aware of it, but he was um, in CAP Corps, which is Capuchin Volunteer Corps. Um, that's not actually the correct name of it, but um, we call it CAP Corps. And it's a year of service uh, post-baccalaureate. And, you know, many people call that, you know, the year after college, if they decide not to go right into the job market, a gap year. And my experience of a year of service is anything but. you. It's another year of training, but it's training in different kinds of things. And Ryan was working with um, at-risk youth uh, in Washington, D.C. And he went every single day. And I saw him in October when we took students down to DC for a conference, joy spilled out of him as he told me about his job and what he was doing. And I was like, wow. And then I spoke to his mom this morning and um, she said, Alice, he was doing so well. He was thriving. And that was the word that I would have put with it with him when I saw him in October is that he was just thriving. And yet None of those situations are easy. I mean, when you work with marginalized populations, you face lots of challenges. And yet he was with his people. Um, so I just give so much credit to somebody who decides to take a year and serve others after graduation um, before entering what many would think of as the job market. Yeah, so I'm the director of university ministries, and I previously was the director of the Franciscan Center for Social Concern at St. Bonaventure, and uh, being responsible for our many of our outreach programs, like the warming house, our soup kitchen, and yeah, I'm sorry about those dogs. Uh, this, oh, that's great to hear because they're not behaving well right now. 
Um, so uh, my role was to be responsible for the soup kitchen. And we have Bonnet Buddies, which is the largest youth mentoring program in that county, plus some other smaller outreach programs. And so I got to know Ryan through University Ministries. He was no stranger to um, our building and our programs and Mount Irenaeus, which is a Franciscan retreat uh, that is housed in uh, their offices are housed in that building on campus. And then, so I knew him all through his years at Bonas. I met him his freshman year because I live in Livonia um, and he lived in Pittsburgh. I mean, we were both in the same direction. You know, um, it's an hour and a half for me to get to work each day. And so it was, you know, we just got to know each other. And then I was his supervisor the summer that he did the um, farm to table program and worked at the warming house. So we had constant contact that summer. And for a student to stay on campus in the summer, it's a bit of a, a commitment, you know, to not go home and find a, a job. Yeah, it's, it, it's a 10 week program. And so there would be two weeks uh, after classes ended and then two weeks before classes began when the, when the program, so he was there the whole summer. Um, you know, that was two years ago, so I'm having a hard time thinking about it um, particular, but Ryan was not a person to stray from challenges and um, obstacles. He um, assessed the situation, looked at it, sometimes consulted other people, and then he would move forward. He was always willing to try. Uh, and, and that's the one thing that, you know, if I wanted to take one thing from Ryan and integrate it into my life, it's that always being willing to try. You know, sometimes I'm like, uh, I just don't want to do it. But yet Ryan was a, a person who was always willing to give it a shot. And, and that's why this is such a tragedy is that it's, it's senseless. A, a, a young person with so much potential in front of them. And he was to no fault of his own. He was walking home from an event with his housemates. Um, and they were robbed and he was shot and killed. It, it's just so sad. I think just as we've described, um, and, and also with that go-to attitude, um, you know, there's lots of challenges in our world today. Uh, and there's lots of people who are looking for hope and light. And if we could be people who try to bring hope and light to the world, then I think that we've done our job on earth. And, and that's what Ryan did. You know, I'm often heard saying on campus that on the day that a student graduates, we want them to hold that piece of paper high. As they walk across that stage, they have worked very, very hard for it. But that's not all we want that to leave, want them to leave campus with. We want them to take our Franciscan values with them, compassion, uh, integrity and wisdom. And we want them to take them into classrooms and cul-de-sacs where they live, soccer fields where they might coach, boardrooms, offices. Because when we are people who know how to offer hope and light to the world, we do just that. You know, this week we celebrated um, the the Martin Lu Dr. Martin Luther King Day. Um, he was a man who really believed that we had to be light in the darkness. Uh, and, and I would say the same thing. That's what I want people to remember about my, Ryan is that he was so kind to people uh, and filled with compassion. And yeah, I guess that's it. So uh, the family is planning their funeral, his funeral mass. Um, and uh, then St. Bonaventure is going to be having a vigil. It's not scheduled yet. We're waiting to see what the family's plans are, but we will have a candlelight vigil on campus uh, sometime this week. We don't know yet because we're just waiting to be respectful of the family's decisions first. Yeah. 
Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm Alice Miller Nation. A L I C E M I L L E R N A T I O N. No hyphen, space between Miller and Nation. And I am the director of university ministries at St. Bonaventure. Right. So um, the university ministries team offers um, opportunities for the campus community to grow and in their spiritual life, whatever uh, faith tradition uh, they might have or no faith tradition is that, uh, you know, when I think of the students, it's helping them ask the big questions. You know, young adulthood brings about big questions in life. And so University Ministries is about uh, offering opportunities and a space to journey with students to help them ask the big questions that are going to help them hopefully be light and hope for the world. Um, thank you very much for helping to get out the message about Ryan's goodness and Ryan's life. Um, we can't make it for naught. We have to be about um, sharing this story so that uh, other, so that we can choose uh, how we talk to people, how we treat people, how we act with people. Um, you know, violence, it's about guns, but violence is also about the attitudes that we carry around in our brains and the ways we um, think of people and treat and talk to people. So I think that Ryan's life is going to teach us many things on many levels if we have the courage to look at the issues. <laughs>